and welcome everyone, I am C.S. Gilmore, and this is Darkest Dungeon. So, I've given things a lot of thought. Um, this next one I'm going to go on is this Gather Three Grain Sacks mission, because that'll be new. It's, you know, basically just one of those collect um, grain missions, you know, collect three items type setup. But, at the same time, you know, different set, the different ones still, uh, that's too many. Ah, come on, put it back, thank you. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to start mixing, changing things up a bit to more of a constant grind setup since we've seen most things now and, um, so I'll have more, less solid episodes and more broken up into the parts that, like, if I run into a new enemy or whatever. And I think that'll be the best way to proceed, and of course boss battles, I want to include those still. Um, the other thing I'm planning to do, I want to go back against the Shrieker. I've got a few people that are level 5 now, and honestly, I looked at some videos of how the Shrieker plays, and looking it all over, really what happened last time that went so bad and ended up in my party wipe, that was a glitch. That wasn't supposed to happen like that, the Shrieker was supposed to leave and that was the, the end of that combat. The beast will lay down when it is not eaten. Steal their food. And, uh... Yeah, apparently I'm after the pig's food, basically, now. For the Hamlet to have, uh, food stocks for the winter, and for the pigs to not have it, because, you know, starve your enemies out, that sort of approach. Alright. Battle with Curio. Curio, quest location. All right, we'll just turn around then, and head back into this area since that direction is where I need to go. Um, what else is there? Curio, Curio, Curio. Yep, all these Curios. I'm only seeing one quest location here, which is kind of weird. And sorry, I was having a little trouble like controlling this and moving at the same time there for a little bit, like making sure I. Held my mouse over the right things. Uh, okay. Ah, nice. Whoa, okay, that's new. Now you see, that's something I'm going to definitely include in any of these videos. Because, new thing. Large corpse eater. That looks less bug-like and more... Giant tentacle squid monster. Um, I, it looks epic, though. All those funny blinky eyes, the very goat like um, pupils, as well as it looks like it's got an armored carapace along its back. Apparently, it's stunnable. Okay, good to know. Well, I guess it's got pretty good stun resist, but at this high level, my characters are a lot better at stunning over 100%. So it's more like it's kind of funny how that works because you know, 100% is 100%. But, the way they kind of work it, it's kind of a... what's the right word? It's more like, you get over 100% and they get around... And so it's just like, that. there's my negative yours, so it's not really 100%. But, I don't know, it's just interesting how they pull that off. Kill that. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, it's got all these weird little tentacle mouths. It doesn't tell me any of its skills. Let's see, it's super resistant to blight. I'm, I'm just going to do this. I don't want to kill it quite yet, just because I want to see what it does. So, oh, I managed to blight it anyway. So yeah, once again, you never know what's the... Even though it has super high resistance, it's still possible. And let's do that. Sorry, I'm still getting over a cold. Almost over it, though. Oh, so much better than I was a few days ago. Alright. Oh, it's got a mouth inside of a mouth. That is freaky. We can pray. Okay. Negative 60% damage. Actually, that's probably doubled with her debuffs. So, okay, that's not an accurate set because she had her own debuffs. So, negative 20 and 15 dodge. So... Negative 10 accuracy and negative 40% damage. 
it would be the very likely the accurate run of that. Not bad damage that it did though. It still looks awesome. Um, let's just see how I can go with this. Her thing is kind of funny because it not only has the potential to cause blight, but it weakens their resistance to blight, which is, you know, kind of nice for even these high resistance characters because it makes it easier to blight them with more stuff. And I'll just have her pass. It'll raise her stress slightly, but I really kind of want to see what this guy does. And a uh, bandage there. Okay, one more go. I'll give it one more turn. If it does the same thing, okay, I'll kill it. Tentacle Devour. Okay, that's new. Missed, but all right. That is such a weird thing. Tentacle Devour. It's another debuff one and normal attack, so. Anyway, time to kill it, I guess. It's going to be dead next turn anyway, just from the Blight, so. Okay. That was fascinating. I love these new creatures. I love a lot of the creatures in this game in general. Just... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all those torches. Alright. Scouting. Room battle with treasure. I'm still missing two quest locations, though. So... Huh. Stash heirlooms. Usual. Okay, and here's what the grain sacks look like. They look home. like grain sacks. A lot smaller object than I, I thought they would be. This crate still bears the faded sigil of your family. A sack of uneaten grain. The object of the quest. Grain sack. Alright, so these are apparently going to take up inventory space like a lot of things. And I love how that... I've got two grain sacks, and it look, I think there were three in the box originally, but one's all torn open, so it's like... What did I do? Empty out the... The bad grain for the good grain? Oh, ghouls show up here too? Huh. Fascinating. And then normal corpse eaters. They change a lot when they get big. When they get big. Uh, apparently they don't grow up very nicely. They they get nasty ugly when they get big. Um, right. And I'm going to want to deal with the ghoul pretty quickly just because, as I recall, I'm trying to remember Skull Toss. I uh, can't remember if that was one that hit one character, or all of them. Uh, okay, cool. That's the problem with the Arbalest, they have trouble hitting the front line with anything super effective. Not that I could have hit it with something, but eh. Alright, that worked out well. The ghouls are very fascinating to me as well. Um, Hard to say whether, like, depending on the mythos you go with, they're either undead or they're just, uh, they're living but they're carrion eaters. And so, there's a couple different potentials as to what this one could be based off of. It looks kind of a, like it could be either, really. It's hard to say whether this thing is supposed to be alive or not. Um, definitely is, would appear to be an eater of bodies and the like, but yeah, I just don't know what to make of it entirely. Fascinating look though, it looks like it's been, it's just got ginormous arms. Skull toss, okay it was a single person hit. Good to know, with a chance to stun. I wonder what its percentage chances are, that's one thing you can't really tell with the enemy, I don't think, I don't see any way of telling what their percentage of inflicting things is. Um, that would be something that would be kind of nice to see with the sort of setup. Alright. Um. This should finish it. Okay. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless a lot of weird little trinkets. I'll probably toss a few of them because these trinkets are not worth a lot to me except for as something to sell. And. Okay, now you've seen what the grain sacks look like. You've seen. A new enemy, so I'm just gonna turn this into a kind of a grind and I'll just edit out the- Oh, secret room. Okay, we'll go there next. Quest location, quest location. I and mean, now we know where both the quests are. No enemies in the way. Okay, I guess I won't cut- Ooh, that was close. I almost walked right into that. And I did anyway. I didn't move. I guess there's a slight drift to the characters. Would be my guess. Even after you start moving, there's maybe a slight drift to them. Or some, or maybe like 
I clicked and it thought it meant move or something. It's hard to say with uh, these, how they react. But, okay, so I guess I won't cut this just because they're right here and so close. And a secret room. Good stuff all around. I want to get into that. Scouting, okay. La la la. Nothing new. Cool. Moving on. Move this out so I can actually click up here. That's a lot of dead bodies. Those look like human dead bodies, though. That's a, something interesting with that blockage. Okay, and this is the secret room. And when you do a secret room, I don't think I pointed this out before, but it does put it on the map just off to the side. And it does look like they do, in fact, have the room... Like, these things are always in the background on these, and I just hadn't noticed them before that last one. Let's see what's in the compartment. Lots of pretty treasure. Right, toss that, toss that, because, yeah, I'm not really interested in either of those. Awesome. And back to getting this stuff. We'll get there. Go in here. It's nice that I'm finding a lot of this treasure, too, though, because I am spending a lot. Um, camp. Huddled together. That will Better empty out some vulnerable. stuff and make room Rats so I don't have maze. to drop anything. And just do a quick bit here. Upgrade her abilities. I don't think I have anything to prevent nighttime ambush. And that. And that. And what's this? Stress. A lot more stress, though. So. Well, I guess I'll just do this to reduce some stress on characters. And that's all I can do with that, except for a pillage. Yay, new item. There you don't need any of because I have a ton of. The light. Good. The now I'll take of this. And we'll just wrap up this quest. And we'll see what this new event is. Um it did have a event here that I'm not familiar with. For this quest it said bumper crop. I'm betting what it means is that there's going to have been a bumper crop and that for the next quest I go on I'll be able to get a lot of extra food. To some extent or another, I don't know to what extent, but I'll be able to get more food than normal on the next quest. If I'm understanding and guessing correctly. Uh, that seems to be how they like to run with these sort of things. So we've got all of the quest items. And we'll just get on out of here right after I check this curio in the hall. It's books. You. Nope. I want her to poke it. There we go. Stacks of, of books. Poke at the books. Last effect. Good stuff. Robust. Robust is what? Disease resist. Okay. Eh, not great. Anyway, that wraps up this mission. That was nice and quick. I'm happy with that. Ah, oh, okay. Our supplies are replenished. And I got, what did I get? Bright Tamarine. Tonight. Not really an item I'm interested in so much, but, eh, I can make it work. In some ways, got some crests. Got everyone up to level 4 and her up to level 5. So that'll be a good preparation in, for going up against the, uh, the bird. The Shrieker again. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. Fated. Awesome. Alright, paranormal, bad humors. Negative 20% max hit points. That one's getting traded right away. And yikes. Well, anyway. <sighs> Wrapping that all up, let's go see what this event is and we'll close this episode up. Turned out to be an actual episode. I was thinking it would end up just being, you know, quick grind, but all the items seem to be so close together. I kept with it. Offering from those few surrounding farms as yet untouched by the spreading calamity. Bumper crop. Mmm, roast pig. Nearby farmers have banded together, increasing security in an effort to protect the healthy livestock and crops upon which the hamlet depends. Supply, supply costs, negative 100%. Provision costs, negative 100%. Oh, okay, so different than I thought. So not in a, a surplus of items, but rather a... What would be the right word? And the last people come back. Has returned from his search for holy meaning. Okay, good. So I've got all my characters available. 
But um, but rather my supplies will be free, I guess, from the looks of things. And I've got to upgrade people's weapons and armor and whatnot as possible. But that's it for this one. Oh, I know I need to check. Still no antiquarian. I need an antiquarian to complete my roster and then to do this whole thing in here with the characters and their guilds information. And oh, it looks like there's some stuff here as well. So I want to do all that reading still. I just have to get that all taken care of. I need to plug this in before it dies. Okay. But I'm still trying to weigh on the antiquarian so I can do it all in one big episode rather than and all the journal readings. I'm still missing number one, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. I think I've got all the others so, and it should be good. And I can read number one from the from like an online wiki, and it should just be a. As I understand, I read it, and it's just a bit from the developers, kinda. So it's all good. Thank you so much for watching, though. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. Hit like, hit subscribe, and leave a comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!